Um, let's come back to the classroom. Yeah. Um, with this current trend, with the, the, the youth we have, and um, this human rights and <laughs> all these things, how and then the, no, no corporal punishment and all the, how are teachers managing to keep our kids in shape in school? Hmm. It's difficult. Yes, of course I um, need to be. Corporal punishment, I don't think to be the answer is to mold a child. Okay. But the other side is um, per some actions and inactions of government, most parents feel that they have the authority over the teacher. Mm. Some of the students thought likewise. Mm. So you can't control me. You can't tell me this. Mm. If you tell me this, we'll beat you. Um, Last week, uh, which school? We we'll beat you as in the town people who come and beat That's why I wanted to refer to. There was a, a school that has been closed down. Okay. Uh, can I remember? It's unfortunate. That two parents went and beat up a female teacher in the school. And it's happening. Students are beating up teachers. And now, if you, the teacher, did anything, you'll be on air. I quite remember last year, is it Keta or one of the schools in the Volta region? A visual student cut a teacher with their knife that they have been using mm. to cut paper. And I don't know where it has reached. But if a teacher lashes the back of a student, the camera will capture it. Mm. You see, look at this teacher and whatever, whatever. So now, the human rights issue, I think it is uh, causing more harm to than teachers. good. Education, not only teachers, okay. to education. Because gone were the days when even parents would say, oh, I'll go and talk to your teacher. And you see what the teacher will do, or teacher should correct you. But today, the children are on their own. Parents cannot control them. Teachers cannot control them. And they are on their own. Do we have future? But um, um, I chanced upon a communication or a communique from the GES, mm -hmm. a guideline from the GES, mm -hmm. especially to the secondary schools, mm -hmm. dictating what measures to be taken against students mm -hmm. for various offenses, especially those who just finished with their WASI, mm -hmm. so that there will be sanity in the schools. Uh, for instance, sending mobile phone to school, the GES method out san sanctions, um, cheating in the exams hall, mm -hmm. um, even breaking bounds, mm -hmm. uh, disrespect to teachers, and all those things. Mm -hmm. So, um, as uh, the GS is pushing for the right of these kids to be respected, mm -hmm. the GS is also putting measures in place to guard against uh, disrespect to teachers and abuse of the system. Okay. Um, <laughs> you have something to say about it? It's nice. On paper, those days, if you are not performing, your class teacher will rule a line. Those are not the line. Mm. You will be repeated. Yes. In the SS mm. or whatever. Today, do you know the process? You have to build those here for three terms mm. on that child. Contact the parents. Sit with the parents. And the parents must agree. You write a letter to the district director, to the region, to the national. And they will set a committee sit on the recommendation or whatever you put there for them to digest and write back to you. When will the letter come? The has completed school. <laughs> so now they realize that whether I learn or not, I'm, I will go to the next class. Mm. Are you getting it? Mm. Which is not giving the children any way to be disciplined. Academically, socially, morally. For morally, it's worse. The mobile phone issue you are talking about. It's common. It's rampant. Seize the mobile phone of a student and see what will happen. No, but the GS was very uh, explicit and very straight uh, on uh, it. And I'm saying that and I, when and you I'm, send the mobile phone to school, mm -hmm. it is confiscated. Fine. And then oh, I, I saw the communication where even the I'm GS saying, was saying... I'm saying the communication is there. Mm. The communication is there. Mm. But is it actually working on the ground? Then do, do, the teachers do, do the are the teachers implementing it. Does they, do they have the power? Do no, they have the authority? Given, you've been given the authority by the GS 
do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. Meaning that GS is supporting you, is behind you mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. there's sanity in the schools. Mm -hmm. And you are saying, uh, what the hell? Uncle, it's good on paper. When you take the child's uh, mobile phone, do you know you are putting yourself into difficulty? I'm not saying we are not doing it in my school. We are doing it with the support, with the head. But where you have recalcitrant students, you can take their phones and go scot free. Yes. That's why some parents are supporting, some students are ganging up, beating up teachers. Are, are, are we getting it? Yes. So, generally, Good. we are so saying what that. I'm saying is we'll be wrapping up in a few minutes. Okay, the, the parents mm. should be talked to first. Yes, that they should make sure because most are when when the student report early, they will tell, Oh, mommy, by way, and what will some after a semester, mm. you, you can get a phone from that child. Either the parents are away. Mm. I have so many instances where mm. parents were, uh, were aware they that... Bought, they actually bought their phones. Yes. There was a lady who came to a school, not where I am currently, that uh, uh, the power bank and whatever, whatever of the child had been stolen by another student. And the question was, yes, uh, were you not the, told these are the not, to, not yes. to buy yes. these things for the child? Mm. So go and look for it. It brings about theory. Brings Those about are the things. So parents are not helping and the laws are there but some are not all that strong. To, uh, to be positive Good. in that Then, world. beside that, as I was saying, let me touch phrases just a little. It's very good, but the implementation has a problem. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying this? Somebody who attend a basic school in uh, Brahabe Bumi, who I've never seen a laptop before, but I will write ICT mm. at the BEC. Mm. Uh, they have no friend teacher, but I will write. Let all of them come with aggregate 80. I don't care. But government should hand over that person to us that after first year, save them. Those who can progress should continue. If that thing is implemented, the student will learn. But now they know, the moment I enter the school and I am a student of that place, there is no way I cannot complete. So if you cannot complete and you're able to complete, but you complete in darkness, you're unable to go to university, what have you done? And my tax is being wasted. That's my problem there. It's not being with at least you have a, a form of education. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, 